I would agree that um, what this crisis is in the process of doing is it is accelerating a lot of pre-existing uh, technological change. So technological change raises productivity generally, and over long periods of time, those gains tend to be broadly shared. But in the short term, that may or may not be the case. And I, I along with many others, will leave social media out of it, by the way, in terms of adding to <clears throat> productivity. I would not not sure I would say that for social media. But <clears throat> for other kinds of technology, I would say it. And um, in this particular uh, situation, I, I would worry that the changes, we're, we're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers who, as Andrew just mentioned, you know, the, it's uh, relatively low paid public facing workers in the uh, service sector who are bearing the brunt. This is largely minorities and women or, or skewed toward minorities and women and relatively low paid. So those people are going to struggle to get back to work in their old jobs or in, in many cases in new jobs. So, I mean, I think you'll see more telework, you'll see probably the acceleration of, of automation. Um, all of that was in the process of happening, but you're gonna see much more of it. And I, I guess that for me, the main takeaway from all of this is that um, even after the unemployment rate goes down and the economy is, you know, and there's a vaccine, there's going to be a probably a substantial group of workers who are going to need support as they find their way in the post-pandemic economy because it's going to be different in some fundamental ways.